Think of it this way. We can sit down with our kids, and uh, for those of you uh, ha who have kids that are grown now, did they have a curfew growing up? Did they have a time where you know you have to be in by by the time the street lights come on, or by the time you know such and such comes on TV, you better be in the home. And and we had good reason for giving our kids a curfew. You know, be in by dark. Right? All they heard was, I have a curfew, I have this time to give in. Now that they're older, teenagers, you know, young adults or whatever, that your young adults, especially if they don't live at home, they don't want to hear from you that you want them in their home by 9 o'clock or by dark. They're like, that makes no sense. I don't live with you. Why are you telling me that? that I was a kid, you used to say that, but now I'm an adult. I don't need to hear that. But now... Instead of a rules-based, from a relationship-based standpoint, you can say, yeah, you heard me say, just like Jesus said, you heard it said that you had to be in by dark. But now that you're a young adult, let me tell you this. I know you just want to hang out at Sheets with your friends, and it's one in the morning, and you guys can't sleep, and you're having fun together, and I can't tell you you need to go home because you don't live with me anymore. You're a young adult. But I can tell you that I love you, and I care about you, and that there, while you're there to have fun, when you drive there, there are people driving home from the club who are drunk, and your car is just one big obstacle to them. One more thing that they have to, in a drunken stupor, try to swerve out of the way of, and sometimes they don't get it right. And you can tell them, hey, uh, it's not that I don't want you to go out and you know, I don't want you to have fun with your friends, but when you go to wherever you're going, Sheets, McDonald's, wherever, or the club, wherever you're at in the middle of the night, and you pull out money to go in or a credit card to go in, you and your friends may be just having fun, but someone else sees you as a target to feed their addiction. They see your wallet, your money, the way you're dressed, and think, I can rob them to feed my addiction. And we can tell our kids, it's not that I'm you know, the, the trying to enforce rules upon you, it's that I care about you, and there's reasons why I'm telling you, and most of your, your parents said things like, you know, nothing good happens after midnight, a lot of us didn't listen, and we found out they were right, and now we tell our kids, nothing good is going on out there after midnight. And when I got of a teenage age, instead of you know, me going out, my mom would say, you know, because I'd like, no, we're just playing games, we're just hanging out, and she would say, do it here. Invite your friends over here, I know they're safe. I had no idea at the time that she would actually call their moms and say, yeah, your son's here, your son's here, I haven't seen your daughter, you better go find out where she is. Because she want, she, she's like, hey, you're a teenager, I get it, you're like 15, 16, 17, whatever the age is, and you want to hang out with your friends. But you're also my child, and I'm still your parent. And I'm not going to try to force you to obey the, obey the rule, but I'm going to try to bring our relationship to the point where you will listen to me and know that I'm doing it just because I love you.